how do we forgive three strategies by dr fred luskin and this guy has been studying specifically forgiveness and there's actually forgiveness studies when i read the book there was a lot of things that were like whoa I didn't really think about it. so I want to give you I want to share a little bit of the book with you so let's get on with the three ways to forgive or three strategies to forgive so the number one strategy is take hurt take the pain take the hurt less personally I want to say less personally. I want to stress the less personally because, come on now, it's impossible to take something that somebody somebody did to you. Excuse me. <laughs> Not personal. Don't take it too personal. Doesn't mean that don't take it personal at all because it is personal. It happened to you. Yes, it was personal, but it also there was an element of impersonal as well. Okay, so number three. Take responsibility for the way you feel. I don't think we should take responsibility for what someone else did to us. If I was walking down the street and someone attacked me and um, took my backpack, right? That is an impersonal attack on me. I'm the victim, okay? I am the victim. I have no responsibility in that matter at all. I don't by the whole hey take responsibility how did you take responsibility why were you walking at night why were you walking down the street um we all have the right uh and the freedom to live in peace and love and when somebody attacks that freedom that's on them at that particular moment you can become a victim i'm not saying that you live as a victim that's a different story so take responsibility for how you feel is not taking responsibility for the action, the trauma that you experience. You take responsibility for how you feel after, because that's really important. You know, like nobody is going to save us. Nobody's going to, you know, inject us with, you know, beautiful states of mind and you know extract anger from us. Um, that's something that we get to work on. Okay, so number three, mm. be a hero in your grievance story. Did I say that? Grievance. Something happened, right? I was walking outside and um, minding my business, somebody came and um, sucker punched me, took my backpack, right? That sucks, right? If the, if the story ends there, that really, really sucks. Now, let's fast forward. Pretend the story is not done because the story is not done until you say it's done. So let's just say that happened. My laptop's gone. My backpack's gone. My laptop's gone. My life is gone. Then I just sat in pity and was angry, was just like angry at the world and people walking and people who remind me of person that, you know, um, attacked me and took my stuff. Um, I can do that, right? Or how do I become the hero in that situation? Hmm. There's a hero if you look inside your heart. Okay, so I can call the cops. Right? I can report, assuming that I was able to respond quickly, call the cops, report it, maybe they catch the guy, right? I go get my stuff and the guy actually is behind bars. Don't take it personal, man. Yeah, if you messed uh, with somebody's stuff or you taking stuff that's not yours. <laughs> like, back up! Back up! Mind your business, that's all! Mind! instead of losing my cool and, and being angry about it. But I think it is important to allow yourself to feel these emotions. Because let's just say that I did get my stuff back and there is actually some truth to this story, um, a story for another time. I think the fact that I got my, I got my stuff back, in a sense, I did lighten up to sit, I did lighten up what happened to me. Maybe the guy needed it more than I do. Maybe he was more desperate, obviously more desperate 
for it. And God knows what the reasons were. I'm not going to be the judge of his character. All I know is that I'm a victim and I'll do the best I can to, to reconcile that situation. That is it. Those are the three ways to forgiveness. Look, man, that obviously there's different, you know, cases and you know, different intensities as far as forgiveness. So I'm no way saying that this is going to work. Follow this map. No, I just want to bring to light these three things and maybe even go and read the book. Um, it's called Forgive for Good by Dr. Fred Luskin. Just know that like you deserve to feel beautiful, emotional states of mind. Blaming and anger and um, being a victim is not a good place to, to be. Take responsibility for your own mental health and wellness. And um, sometimes you gotta fight for that mental space. Don't let anybody take any, any mental space from you. And um, don't let yourself get in the way of feeling love and beauty and creativity and being free. That's it. Thanks so much for tuning in here. Um, subscribe uh, if you like this video and um, yeah let me know in the comments if one of these three things connect with you one of the three ways and let me know which one all right much love peace and happiness la, 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 la.